what is up guys it's the nightwing at way of life esports coming at you guys with another video here today and in today's video we are going to be talking about cloud nine as cloud nine finished the lcs 2022 spring split in fourth place definitely far below their expectations coming into the lcs 2022 spring split they all end on this strategy and team revolving around LS and then they fired LS into the LCS 2022 spring split week two then they actually were first place in the regular season until about week eight until that super week happened and actually the week before they lost to TSM who were 10th place and then the day before they beat Team Liquid to pretty much secure first place only to lose it coming into week eight where they only defeated Dignitas a team they're supposed to beat and then they lost to 100 thieves and then they lost to FlyQuest. then during the lcs 2022 spring split playoffs they got completely fisted by 100 thieves then they went up against golden guardians because 100 thieves sent them to the losers bracket they easily defeated golden guardians i mean like i know the narrative was like oh my god cloud nine bounced back against golden guardians but it's like it's golden guardians are fucking dog shit so it's like okay you expect them to win then they faced off against each Evil Geniuses, who later on won the LCS 2022 Spring Split, and yeah, EG just beat the shit out of them, Cloud9's drafts were bad, the plays were bad around the map, the macro sucked, the laning sucked, you could tell it was all just falling apart. And, like, Fudge even tweeted on his Twitter page, hey, we went like 0-15 and 15 in scrims this week. Like, if you see a player tweet out something like that, usually something goes very, very wrong. Usually preceding said tweet. Like, in the past, when I would, like, watch the LCS games, like, players would tweet, like, this cryptic shit, and then the games following that week usually lead to something bad. So, me having seen tweets like that from players in the past, I go, wait, they went 0-15, and, and then you saw them completely just fumble apart. There's not really one player to blame, though I do think putting Fudge in the mid lane position was just a big mistake, you know? Like, when I saw him play mid lane, I was like, he's alright, you know? He popped off against a few players, like Takuli and Bjergsen, but, like, is that anything special? You know, he wasn't really anything good as a mid laner you know you know going in he's not gonna permanently stay mid and you can't win a title with fudge mid i'm sorry he's not a mid laner and definitely not a good mid laner either so they're doing apparently all these like swaps with cloud nine right now coming into the lcs 2022 summer split so there's two pieces of information for cloud nine right now and in the next video i will be covering the tsm 2022 uh off-season uh roster moves right now before we go into the lcs 2022 summer split so right now we're gonna only focus on cloud nine and then after that the next video i have planned for you guys we'll be talking about tsm because i know tsm has made some roster moves as well and if you're a cloud nine fan well this is definitely going to be some interesting news you want to hear now let's go over them Experiment over. Fudge to switch back to Cloud9 top lane after short spring swap. The Australian will replace Summit and reclaim his old role. You know, if import rules weren't a thing, like, I would have just honestly kept Summit, you know? Like, but obviously import rules are a thing, so, you know, it's just how that tends to work out. But the issue here is Berserker is an import... Fudge doesn't count as an import. Neither is Blabber. You know, Z does Ven still count as an import? Oh, that'd be fucking bullshit if he does. It's really weird, but like, at Summit's peak, he's a much better top laner than Fudge. Sorry, I'm sorry. He's he just is. You know, but hey, Fudge is not a bad top laner. He was definitely top three in his role last year. You know, after some hardships. So I mean, it's okay. I don't know where Summit would go. You know, if Summit actually went back to Korea. I think he should just join Gen G, because if Gen G want to compete for a title, they need a good top laner, because that guy Gen G has is complete trash. So, you know, that's where Summit should go is Gen G. But yeah, I knew automatically, like, Fudge mid wouldn't last very long. Just saying, like, if anyone thought that was going to be a long-term thing, you're just a fucking crackhead. Cloud9, fresh off a disappointing 4th place finish in LCS 2022 Spring Playoffs, is shifting Australian star... Fudge back into a top lane role to replace Summit, according to sources in the League of Legends scene, and first reported by Breck 
Seeger for Upcomer. The North American heavyweights are now looking for replacements in the mid lane and according to Upcomer are considering support changes too. So yes, I know you guys uh, know that Dot Esports is very, very credible when, uh, you know, breaking roster leaks and information. Also, I will be now using Upcomer as well. They are also very credible. So just letting you guys know that. Fudge swapped to the mid lane at the beginning of spring this year, which allowed Summit to join the roster. The South Korean import went on to be named LCS Most Valuable Player for his regular season outings before his league performances dipped heavily in the postseason. Similarly, Fudge moved to mid, never really landed for Cloud9. Thank you! Like, he was just never that good. I'm just being honest here, he was just never that good as a mid laner, you know? He's not a mid laner. It's like, it's like an autofill kind of player, you know? According to Seeger, who reported the impending changes on April 26th, the Legacy LCS organization originally looked to re-sign Niski. The Belgian star is already in line to join Mad Lions, which I had that video out on the channel already. Go check that out. For LEC 2022 Summer Split, however... Copy, the team's academy mid laner, is another likely candidate to fill the newly created fudge-sized gap in the middle of Summoner's Rift. The biggest issue for the team is that they would prefer a resident player. Berserker remaining on the lineup leaves just one import slot for their mid or support signing. Fudge and Blabber are North American residents for roster purposes. Another name linked to Cloud9 is Star Random. Okay. C9 Brass are also looking to shuffle their bot lane around. Berserker was a standout for the team, but they rotated between Winsome and Isle several times across the spring campaign. I think Winsome could have been a really good support player for Cloud9, but the issue here is like him not being able to communicate with Fudge and Blabber really hurt them. Now, without LS. It definitely was showing, but with LS, it could have been a whole lot better. You know, he played a lot better when LS was on the roster than when he played without LS, you know? Isles just really wasn't that good. We saw that guy play for Cloud9 before the LS players came in for the LCS 2022 locking tournament. Isles just really wasn't anything special. I'm sorry. Like, uh, hey, I keep it real. I just tell you guys the facts. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. I'm here to tell you, like, the, the shit that's going on. Because if I sat here and just sugarcoated all this shit, then you probably go like, man, this guy's a fucking cocksucker. No. I'd rather be very, very honest with what they were doing. And as you guys know, I heavily support Cloud9. Cloud9 are the team that I've been rooting for since 2014, ever since I got into watching League of Legends. They're the first team I ever saw. They're the first team I ever gravitated towards. You know? So... I, I definitely feel some type of way when they start performing like shit, when I know they could play a whole lot better than this, and get better players. The org is still digging into options to fill the bot lane role. One possibility is a major role swap by star AD carry Zven later in his career. The Danish bot laner has played ADC since he first joined the league pro scene in 2013, including during his famous stints on Origin, G2 Esports, TSM, and his two-year run in Cloud9's starting lineup. Zven would be expected to take a vocal role in the LCS team okay so oh god it's another thing i talked about last night in my cloud nine podcast he's not a support okay like this is like some temporary shit it's like when buipo roll swap to jungle if buipo was very secure and how he could play jungle why did he just stay playing a jungler because he know he's better as a top laner same thing with perks he's he went from mid to adc Realize, wait a minute, I don't actually like this. I'm actually a mid laner. Goes back to playing mid. Like, these, like, roll swap solutions, I don't really actually like because there's just temporary. You need something long-term when you're doing this kind of thing, you know? And I don't think Sven actually wants to play support. He's only doing it so he can play in the LCS starting lineup, you know? Like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Cloud9 are making these roster changes following a whimpering finish to spring. The team parted ways with big name coach LS just weeks into the regular season before slumping to fourth in playoffs. The team is expecting to qualify for Worlds 2022 later this year, but will face heavy resistance from 100 Thieves, Liquid, and new champions, Evil Geniuses. Yeah, uh, they literally swapped Fudge from top to mid. That didn't work out. So they're thinking like, you know what, ADC to support probably the same thing okay here I'll, I'll i'll give them some leeway swapping from top to mid is very very hard swapping from adc to support 
is decently kind of a lot harder because you have to actually be able to roam around the map and impact with the jungler, become a duo, synergize very well, coordinate dives, ward, like just... I'm not a fan of these role swaps, like, ever, until they're actually proven to be good. Or they're coming off, like, being successful, you know? Perks' role swap was successful. Buipo's pretty much was successful, all things considered. You know, there's more role swaps, I like, ambitions and scores, obviously, that are up there. But, you know, uh, just not... Just wasn't a huge fan of putting Fudge mid. Sorry. Wasn't a good mid laner. But here also is some good news for you guys. So... It was rumored that Jensen would be joining Cloud9, and Jensen did not have a team for the LCS 2022 Spring Split, So did, and Jizuke didn't either, and Niski, like, good, like, actual good mid laners that people just know and love. Now we have some good news today. Report, veteran mid laner Jensen to return to former home Cloud9. Jensen's reportedly heading back to his old stomping grounds. Former Cloud9 mid laner Jensen is returning to his one-time organization ahead of the 2022 LCS Summer Split, according to a report from Alejandro Gomez of Blix. Uh, .gg. S Jensen, a seven-year veteran of the LCS, was left without a team heading into the 2022 Professional League of Legends season. He spent the previous three seasons as the mid laner for Team Liquid before he was replaced by Bjergsen. Yeah, like, just, holy shit. During his time at Liquid, Jensen led the team to three consecutive appearances at the World Championship. Throughout his career, Jensen has never missed Worlds. Jensen most re recently played for C9 during the 2018 season. That year, he helped C9 reach the semifinals at Worlds, in turn making the team the first North American team to ever reach the top four at the tournament since it integrated with Eastern Leagues. The news of Jensen's report, sorry, the news of Jensen's reported return comes after a, a reported role swap of C9's current mid laner Fudge back to his former position in the top lane. If that move is to go through, a vacancy in the mid lane would open, allowing Jensen to return while the team's 2022 Spring Split top laner Summit would be left without a position on the starting lineup. C9 were eliminated from the 2022 LCS Spring Split in the second round of the playoffs, finishing fourth overall. They will return to the LCS stage when the summer split begins on June 18th so it's really good news to see that Jensen is coming back and he's coming back to cloud nine now as you guys know from watching my news videos over the course of these many years I'm not a huge fan of players like coming back to former organizations you know generally though it, it has kind of worked out for some players like so as returned to fanatic at one point won a few titles uh biofrost returned back to tsm won a title you know just it, it has worked out a few times but more or less a, a lot of the times a player goes back to a former roster it doesn't work either like there's more times where it doesn't work than it does now the mid lane pool in the LCS is really, really bad. You know, like Bjergsen was not performing like a lot of people thought he would. Abadage, well below the expectations, and definitely the expectations set for Abadage were definitely not met given his actual gameplay. He had a few good games here and there, but still pr overall pretty bad. Like Jojo Peon. It's probably a top four mid laner right now. The rest of the mid lane pool is just weak. Like, like the actual good mid laners in the LCS are just like Takuli. Jojo Pion, Bjergsen, and a Blaze Olive. Those are like your top four. And that's pretty weak. Like, I I'm not ragging on the NA guys, but that's pretty fucking weak, honestly. So Jensen could come in and slot right in and potentially be the best mid laner. Depending on how the team looks, you know? Now, having Jensen back is good for Cloud9, but unless you have a roster that gels and it's put together well, it's not going to work out. But... You know, uh, Jensen has stated that he likes to play with Blabber. He was his favorite jungler to play with. That's definitely a good thing right there. So, you know, can the two boys reunite and have some success on Summoner's Rift? And if you are a Cloud9 fan, let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about Fudge returning back to mid lane, Sven role swapping to support, and Jensen coming back home to Cloud9? And in the next video, I will be going over the TSM news. So I'll see you guys later. Like, comment, and subscribe. Most of all, enjoy. I'm the Nightwing, and Way of Life Esports is signing out, guys. And if you are new to the channel, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys later. And I'm signing out, guys. Peace.